Amen. Um, I'm working on the series that is, caps is captioning, exposing the power of witchcraft. Say, exposing witchcraft. Exposing witchcraft. I can't feel you. Exposing witchcraft. You know, um, witchcraft um, is a play. Somebody say, it's a play. It's a play. I've made you to understand that witchcraft, you divide the word into two. Witch, witchery and craft. Craft is a play. What the person does, the job, the craft, they play with it. What's witchery? Anything that is evil and wicked. So witchcraft is wicked play. Wicked play. Or wicked at play. Wicked at work. That is witchcraft. And in the course of the series, there are so many things that I'll be showing you. And these are some of the things I'll be showing you. And I started showing from last week. Um, last week. And these are some of them. Then I'll go into what I'm showing you today. Number one, oppressions of principalities towards witchcraft. Number two, strange animals that represent witchcraft. Number two, the objects and the signs around your life that show that witchcraft manipulation is at work. The next one is this. Signs and characters of people who carry witchcraft. And I've told you, witchcraft is not somebody who drinks blood. Whoever does wicked, wicked, wicked at play is witchcraft. Monitoring spirit. I'll tell you also about the times of your life where witchcraft strike. The times of your life. This is the next thing. The places where they love to meet. Their hub, their hotspot, their locations. Where the atmosphere that is very conducive to them. We have operational pots. P-O-T. When something is being captured of a person is placed in a satanic pot. A womb, a ring, whatever is placed on a pot. How can you break the pot? This is the next thing. The thing, okay, and I also talked to you about energies. I think I spoke about energies last week. Energies. The energy around you that helps us witchcraft to operate. When you have a kind of energy around you, you can never come around you. And the things not to do. If you want witchcraft not to come close to you, the things not to do. And this is the next thing. Their ways of operation. How do they operate? The next thing I will show you is this. What they are afraid of. This is the best place I like. What they are afraid of. And the next thing is that the directions to stop them. The direction to stop them and what takes away negative energies away from a person and this is the next thing your body parts that's when a witchcraft gets access to it it can affect you and the next thing is this the times of the day which witchcraft operate the times of the day that they are very very active and also definition of witchcraft and I also show you it's very broad i can't finish for the whole four weeks um the occurrences and the signs in your life that shows you that witchcraft is at play in your life and the signs in your house that show that witchcraft attack is going on and the signs of witchcraft manipulation in a person's heart in a person's life and their location and today i'm about to spend time to show you a couple of things and how god will take your life out of some issues in jesus name amen amen so the first thing i will show you is this i'm going to show you their operations the times of your life where witchcraft is active um energies energies i'll just go back part of it um, the body parts to I work on it on Wednesday, but today for the sake of first service and other services, I'll just um, do a drive-by shooting on there and there are ways of operation and the energies of a house. Amen. Amen. So let's see Exodus chapter 22, verse number 18. Exodus chapter 18. I like this one. 22 verse 18. KGV. Let's flow. KGV. Let's flow. Everybody, let's all read together. KGV. One, two, three. Let's all read together. Thou shalt not suffer a wish to live. Again, let's go. Read it continuously. Thou shalt not suffer a wish to live. Continuously. Thou shalt not suffer a wish to live. For the last time. Thou shalt not suffer a wish to live. So when you make a way to live, what will happen in your life? You will suffer. That's the meaning. If you let a wish live, you will suffer. When so long as they're around, they bring suffering. Now, just a preamble of the operations. Witches are the smallest in the rankings of demonic power. However, they are the most wicked ones. We have principalities. Principalities rule in an area, in a location. But when they rule, they need a witchcraft activity for it to cause it to happen. Let's say there is a place where every time there is accident over there. It means the principality there looks for blood. That is the principality. But it can never ever happen. Not until witches operate in that particular area. So witches carry an assignment. Make sure that the principalities work in that particular area. I've told you principalities work in an area, in a community, in a family. Or even a, a, a principality can even work on a surname. On a surname. 
So long as your surname is connected to this particular family, this is what happens. It's called a generational barrier. But it takes a wish for it to happen. But today, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. in the principality, Jesus. sometimes the house you have gone to stay there, the area, there is something on there. The area just because you live in that particular area, there's an, a particular assignment by the message of God and by the grace of God. Jesus. I come against it and I stop it right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. See, I stop it now. I stop it now. Now, the times of your life where witchcraft strike, the times of your life. Number one, when you are young and naive. When you are young and naive, because at that time your eye is not open, so many things that you don't know. A lot of things go on from witchcraft because they like to operate from behind the scenes. When you are young, somebody sees you from nowhere, touches your forehead. Example, somebody sees a young child. Wow. And when you when you feel, 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 your scar has been dimmed. When you are young and naive, it can happen. It's after many years that you come to the point of realization that something was being contaminated. But I want to stand from this particular altar and declare, Jesus. if when you were young or you're naive, there are so many people here, anytime we finish teaching, they come and say, my God, if I knew this, he prophet and I want to and them say, what, what? I declare it's never too late. There's a God of restoration. If, if, if by advantage of something, let the power of God stop it now. Amen. Number two, the times witchcraft strike. When you are in your prime, when all of a sudden, you have been promoted, your life is on the highest level, which is tend to strike at that time. But I pray and preserve your prime in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Now this is the, the next thing. After a great accomplishment, so long as the individual was struggling in a crowd, nobody thought about uh, for the person. But let the individual go and build a house in their hometown. That's when the trouble starts. So long as you were working on, on barefoot, not an email, those said the demons here, yeah, any time that they can fight you. But the time you went to that particular hometown funeral and they saw you in that car, that's when the meeting started and they started and said, Hey, and then you jack a man call you. After you have accomplished something so great, I declare by the power of God. Jesus. In the West, I have seen some accomplishment around you. Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus stop it now by fire. Amen. Now hear me, hear me. The reason why witchcraft is very dangerous is that when wicked is at play, they don't have sensation, they don't have sentiment, they don't have emotions. That's why a mother can kill a child and a child can kill their mother. Because when they enter into that realm, they don't know who is. So when they are fighting you, they don't know you. Because before an individual kills or destroys an indi uh, another person, they turn into them, turn into an animal. If I'm killing a sheep, do I know that it's you? No. So that's how they will pray. Clear example of this week of activity is what happened here two weeks ago when a young lady came over here crying. What's happening? She was at Cocoa Board and the boyfriend too works at Cocoa Board. The fiancé. And the fiancé is, is traveling from Vota region to Accra to the office. The guy gets stroke. Heavy stroke. In the course of service, she came over here. She came to place um, a dress, a set on the altar. So I asked the girl, why have you placed the dress over on the altar? She said, the dress is for my fiancé who I just got through painfully. And my friend has invited me to this church for the first time. So I said, sister, come. When I was watching, all of you were here in the spiritual room. The Lord showed me the reason, the reason for the attack of the guy. Number one, promotion the workplace. And number two, I saw him constructing and completing the property. And the girl confirmed that the guy has finished building his property. He's now even 50% or 80% true of the interior deco. So that the guy can go and live there and stay there by his birthday, which was last week. And I, and I told them that the attack is not just from the workplace, but we should check the family. That's when all of you were here. That's when the lady confirmed and said, while the guy has gotten the stroke and the guy is in the hospital, family members who don't know where the guy's property, new house is, went to the caretaker and said, give us the key. And I asked the lady, do they know? He said, the guy has not even told anybody that he's building a house. Went there. Where is the key? Caretaker doesn't give it to them. Now the guy is in the hospital. We prayed. Guy came out from the hospital. Take the guy to his house. They said, no, we are taking him to another place after you have accomplished something so great 
whoever is waiting for you after your accomplishment. Jesus. Let the altar from the testimony city. Let it break by fire. Amen. So we shall break. break. Let me tell you this. What you have suffered for. Another will not take your place and take Jesus. it away from you by the message of God. Jesus. So they will never take it away from me. They will never take it away from me. Can I continue? Yes. Great accomplishment and two, when you complete something. Number five. The moment people tell you congratulations, get ready for witchcraft attack. What they don't like in their life is when somebody tells you, oh, we are talking together. Congratulations. When somebody tells you, Congratulations. Hey, congrats. Listen, people that have issues with forgiving birth, most of the attacks from prophecies I give over here, most of the attacks, where do they start from? Wedding day. Wedding day where everybody is clapping their hands for you. Last Wednesday, I prophesied to a sister over here. Do you remember? And I said that I see that they have blocked her womb. Do you remember? A sister that was, I made her to put salt. I think that was the first time Auntie Denise brought a sister. And she said she's married for eight years and she's gotten about how many miscarriages? About three miscarriages. And, and I saw that they have cut her womb. Oh, they have cut her tomb. <laughs> the tube. Fallopian tube. And she confirmed. Do you. And I, and I told her that the reason why you have the, this issue that you don't have a baby is because a lady says, why has your mother, why has your mother's children gone to marry? Do you remember? So on Friday, when I was doing the counseling, she came to see me for the first time. I said, Prophet, thank you very much. What, every, everything you told me in the service was true. I said, why? She said, Prophet, it's after, she said, Prophet, it's after I married after three years, that baby was not coming. Then somebody went to the mother. And told the mother that, do you remember what your own sister said about your daughter when your daughter was giving, uh, was uh, marrying? And I asked the sister why. She said, no, no, when she was having her wedding, the mother's own sister went to the mother, which is this girl's mother, and said, hey, today, dear, your daughter is, give, is, is going to marry. So very soon, everybody's going to call you grandmother. We will see. Is the sister here? I told her to come for the first service. I don't know whether she's here. Do you remember the sister I prophesied to? Yes. Church. And I told her to put um, salt over there and definitely know that this altar she'll give birth, right? Yes. Amen. But the own mother sister said, hey, and then they also bear the water. And very soon I'm going to call you grandmother. Church, I told you some statements are very dangerous. You know, witchcraft bring... Listen, when people make statements, don't joke with their statements. It's after they have harbored it and conceived it that it comes from their mouth. And what has come of their mouth is only a sign or 1% of the 100% inside. And look at the lady. Eight years, no baby. One, two has been cut off. And yet all Tawin was like Kasamana. After people tell you... What they hate is congratulations. But let me give you good news. If my congratulations is going to cause them heart attack, then it's already a heart attack. Jesus. Because more congratulations are about to happen for you. Amen. You will build more houses. Amen. Your career will flourish. Amen. All things will work well. Amen. Oh, tell to the prime minister, say congratulations. congratulations. Say congratulations. congratulations. Oh, hold your hands. Sit and tell them. Very soon, they will tell you. Congratulations. Continue. Let me continue. I have just 15 minutes to go. Let me continue. Uh, 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 what did you say? Preach or teach? Thank you. This series is teaching. Amen. Okay, I'm trying my best. Amen. Number six. After you receive good news. After you receive good news. And you will bring your good news to and, and the seventh one is what I want to pause here to really advise you. They normally strike. When your spirituality gets very low, when you are low on vibration, if your spiritual frequency vibration is low, they can get you. So everybody, how do you increase your spirituality? I've shown you, pray, fast, read the word of God, be righteous, take in the Holy Communion. It increases your vibration. When your vibration is high, witches and wizards cannot survive around you. 
today, I increase your spiritual frequency, Amen. your environment, your vibration. You know, your vibration, when it's being energized, it will irritate them. And today I put you on that level, on that path of fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. May God arise on your behalf. Someone shout fire. Fire. Shout it one more time. Fire. Shout it for the last time. Fire. Now let me go on this one. Some of the body, body objects and body stuff around you that you need to be very careful. Don't let the witches get access to. Number one, your tears. When your tears drop and the witch gets hold of it, there can be disaster against you. When a, 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 your tears in the hand of a witch will bring you pain, sickness, and more weeping. Number two, your sweat. Your sweat. Someone say, how can they get my sweat? When you use a tissue, you drop it anywhere. You have to be very deliberately spiritual. Don't drop it anywhere. They get your sweat. It brings you more hardship when they get hold of it. The next thing is this. Ladies, your menstrual in the hand of a wizard or a witch can torment you. When it happens like that, it goes after your fertility, your destiny, your life and death and children that, is come, that are coming. And also blood. When a, drug, a blood comes out of you, be very, very careful where it drops and gets into. This is the next one. Men, your spare. Sleep with <laughs> Sleep with a lady that you don't know and guess you are done. And recently you saw it on social media. And people were confessing that they sell spams. And people pay big money. Oh, how many people on social media? They interview the people on Joy News. That they have people that they buy spam from, especially the ladies who stand by the junction. And they pay big money for that. Why is somebody paying big money for spam? Ask yourself, why is somebody paying big money for spam? And don't tell me they're going to use it for IVF somewhere. No. But the one for IVF, they have to put it something to protect it very well. This one is, is for something. I declare, if anybody have gotten any part of your body for an assignment, Jesus. by the blood of Jesus, I stop it now. Amen. Let me continue. Your nails. When you leave your nails anyhow, and in the hand of a witch, it, gets, it goes after your health. The next, the next one is your hair. Some of you, anywhere, anywhere, you cut your hair and drop it there. It goes against your favor and your, your, your honor. The next one is your breast milk. In the hand of a witch or a wizard, will attack your, attack your fertility and also attack your children yet unborn or even your children that you've given birth to. The next one is your saliva. Saliva attack goes after your body organ. That is disease. The next one is that any, any fluid from your body, it goes against your health. Be very careful. Semen. The other one is money. When money leaves your hands and it drops into the hands of a witch, it goes after your finances. That's why my money I place on the altar preserves all my money. So when my money gets into the hands of a wrong person, the altar, my money on the altar goes and counter it for me in the name of Jesus. And the last one, and the last one is a chair you have sat on. When somebody goes and use something on it, it can affect you. That's why before you take a new position in the workplace, make sure you anoint the chair. You don't know who was sitting on. Many people have been promoted, and the moment they were being promoted, they got stuck there and then because there was an attack on that particular chair. Yes, we have all left work on Friday night. We have gone back on Monday morning. As a child of God, you don't just go there and be like, hey, Monday Asambo, Monday Asambo, Monday Asambo. No, no, no. You have olive oil. If you don't even have olive, you have a handkerchief. Before you go and sit on there, just simple, Father, I, am, I cleanse my chair by the power of God. Because when I was not there from Friday, I don't know who sat on it. So in the spiritual, oh, those who are clapping, you have got spiritual. So in the spiritual realm, it goes a long way to preserve and keep your life in Jesus' name. Say any point of contact. Any point of contact. From the enemy's camp. From the enemy's camp. Against my destiny. Against my destiny. I come against it now. I come against it now. I stop it now. I stop it now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say it will never work. It will never work. By fire. By fire. Say it will never work. It will never work. By authority. By authority. Amen. Amen. Let me give the last but one. How witches operate. How witchcraft operates. They operate by this, and this one I will get a, a whole day to teach you. They operate by sending a monitoring spirit. They monitor. What's a monitoring spirit? It can just be a, a small spider web that comes in front of you. That's it. Everything around you that can be located. Monitoring spirit, I really get time to show it for a whole day for that. 
I think maybe next Sunday, but I'm just giving a point by monitoring a particular cat in an area. Every day, only your house, one corner watching you. A particular somebody elbow somebody and say by fire. By fire. Yes, they say by fire. By fire. We stop it now. We stop it now. Now, now this is the next thing by touch. By touch. A small touch. As I showed, a small touch. A small touch. A small handshake. Some of these things you can never live without. So as the child of God, you are, so, you are supposed to set your life on fire. So when the witch hold your hands to even attack you, you are already a Holy Ghost naked wire. When they touch you, you will shock them. A common handshake can extend somebody's destiny. A common handshake can change somebody's contracts. A common handshake can finish somebody. So check that one. Now the next one is this number three, words. They operate by words. What is a word? A spell. Anytime we use the word, a spell, I've told you, a spell. And somebody has cut a spell on somebody. It's not a powder. Hey, what, 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 what to spell a good No, a spell is a word. Class one, they told you, spell the word car, C-A-R. Did you throw a powder? So spelling is just mention of words. So when we say that somebody has cut a spell on somebody, it simply means they have spoken negative words on that person. So they, they, they work by casting spells. They take paper, picture, and cast spell. How can somebody's picture be taken? Say something on, and the next, thing, the next day it happens. It's a spell. Today, any spell that will be spoken and mentioned on you, on your house, by the reason of the blood of Jesus, I come against it by fire. Say, I change the spell. I change the spell. Let me continue. The witchcraft series is plenty to do. That's what I'm trying to do. Drive-by shooting. Now, the next one. They operate in the atmosphere of fear. The moment you live in fear, sister, 80%, they are, they, they are true to finish you. They will operate in the atmosphere of fear. Let me tell you, when you are there and you are eating your food, every day you are eating your food, you are heavy, you are nice, everything. The day you go to hospital and, 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 and then they do a test on you, even before you went there, you were eating your fufu. And doctor told you, oh my God, this is, calm, this is, this is the, the next day your weight drops. Am I saying the truth? It's fear, fear, which is operating fear. So they operate in the atmosphere of fear. So as a child of God, never let fear sit on you. Break fear. Stop fear. When you see fear come, you declare, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Cleanse your atmosphere from fear. Say, I stop fear. I stop fear. Now this is the next one. They operate. Uh -huh. Now, um, they, 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 this is very quite, quite, deep, quite deep. I think I'll end it over here. They operate by body doubles. Someone say body doubles. Body doubles. But say body. Body. Doubles. Doubles. So let's say this is Daniel Amwatin. They will do a body double to attack me. So I come to explain. They will take a doll, Boniba. Do you know a doll? So when they will say, Chobi, good. I ain't can focus on her. Come on, so find a bruniba. So they will take a bruniba. It's called now. This, this is, I feel, I feel. Let me get the time on this one. They will take a doll, any doll at all, and they will just write the person's name on it. So if it's Daniel Martin that they want to attack, they will take the bruniba and write Daniel Martin on. And now they will put it on their evil altar. What they want it to happen to Daniel Amwati, if they want my leg to break, they will take the Bruniba and cut off the leg. And say, Daniel Amwati, let your leg break. If they want me to, if they want the individual to die, is it that? They take a red rope, tie the neck, and say, may you not breathe. If they want the individual to get kidney failure, they take needles and pierce the kidney side and say we destroy your kidney so why whilst you are in accra your body double is in their altar 
So every day they talk and speak on it. But I thank God that if they can use my body double, then I have a fire from my altar. Mm. So to the anybody who has your body double mm. on any evil altar mm. by the blood of Jesus. So if, so if it's money, they want you to lose. On the body double, the boniba, they will use broom to sweep it. And they will speak and say that Sika Eban and Semua, Yapra every one of So today I declare whoever has your body double on any evil altar, let the spirit of Jehovah, let the grace of God, let the power of God stop it now. Now, this is the good news. Let it catch fire now. 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 Be on your feet. I know you've been waiting for what they are afraid of and what stops them, right? Yeah, that one I think from next week I will show you. Because I'm, I'm giving you all the preambles that we go to how to block them, how to stop them. Lift up your right hand in the name of Jesus. Sorry. Body doubles. Lift up your hands. One prayer, say by fire. By fire. Powers of witchcraft. Powers of witchcraft. Break. Break. Be cancelled. Be cancelled. Now, whilst you stand here, let me just go, go through this for you. The things around your house, that's so that your house energy is not good. And when it happens like that, anoint your house, pray in your house for God to take over. Number one, you lose items around your house anyhow. Mm. Plant and flowers die in your house, no matter how well you water them. You're unable to have a good night's sleep in your house. You suddenly wake up in the middle of the night and, and out of fear, you are panting. You hear your name called out in your house. You search around, but nobody is phys physically there who called you. Constant headache the moment you enter into your house. When you are outside, you are okay. The moment you enter, headache. The energy is not good. Um, constant shortness of breath when you enter into your home. Constant stomach problem when you are in your house. Your house seems to get dirty often. No matter how easily you clean there, always. You don't know who will be a finny free bar. No matter how you use all your um, 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 insecticide, no motor, no motorway, no honor. Still, insects all the way, all the way, all the time. And always meeting up spider webs. Spider webs continuously. But it's not all of them that are spiritual. Some of you will feel and, and, and ten times and on your be. Amen. And on your But when you say what was work cleaning, when you say one more cleaner cleaning. But who remo what is it? Spider web you're doing. Ewo ho. Me before I see a spider web, I try to see where the spider is. Be shana me who spider me the spiritual one. Amen. But me who spider ne pamu senya here normal spider for us semko. Amen. Um. Um. And, and also, you always also you keep on seeing spiders around more. Spiders around more. And the last one. When you are in your house, when you are in your house, strangely, when you check your time, you check your phone, you always, the number 13 always shows up. When you're in your house, when the number 13 shows up all the time, it means the energy in your house is wrong. It means your house is under spiritual attack. Drop oil on there. Pour communion on there. Pray on there. Pour salt on there. Pray on there. Tie the walls and declare. I rebuild the energy. And the last one. Play gospel music around the house. It will take away the energies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Say Amen. by fire. By fire. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Our nine... I, I now know I, I now, now know, know that you are under my feet. That that you are under, under my feet. feet. Any orchestration. Any, any orchestration. Any oppressions. Any, any oppressions. Break. 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 Be cancelled. Be cancelled. Break. Break. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. I will not be a victim. I will not be a victim of witchcraft. Of witchcraft. My spirit. My spirit. My soul. My soul. My body. My body is blessed. Is blessed by the power. By the power of the living God. The living God. I am free. I am, I am free. free. I am loose. I am, I am loose, loose by authority. By authority. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Give me power. Give, Give me power. power. Give me authority. Give me authority. I will never fall. I will never fall. Witches and wizards. Witches and wizards. Wizard. Will never survive. Will never survive. I run my life. I run my life. Now, now. I set my life. I set my life on fire. On fire. Anybody double. Anybody double. Anybody.
anybody double. Anybody double. Hanging anywhere. Hanging anywhere. That represents me. That represents me. Cat fire. 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 Somebody clap when some pray now. Aya. 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 A